Rats, I've had many of those over the course of the past 10 years. Uh, 24 rats in total. I've read many books about them. I've uh, talked with a lot of rat owners and throughout the years I've amassed a lot of knowledge on rats. So here is everything you need to know about pet rats in less than 10 minutes. First thing first, do you have in your vicinity a vet that can take care of them. This is the first thing you need to check. This is number one, because sometimes rats get sick and uh, rats have a very high fast-paced metabolism, which means that illnesses can progress very fast. Once I've had a rat that, that between the first symptoms and death, four hours only uh, elapsed. So uh, usually it's a matter of only a few days. So when your rat gets sick, you want to be very fast and you want to be sure that there's a vet close to where you live that can take care of him. Number two, a lot of people often ask me, what is the worst thing about having rats? What is the worst aspect? And I would say that it's the cage. The cage is expensive because rats like to climb and they need a lot of space so they need a big cage if you want them to stay happy and healthy and uh, the cage will take space in your house it is expensive uh, usually a re really good rat cage will be 300 bucks and at least 100 um, I'm thinking I'm, I'm talking of course dollars euros or British pounds it's about the same and uh, yeah you're looking at 200 300 for a nice cage and of course cleaning the cage you have to clean it about twice a week uh, a minimum if you want your rat to stay happy and healthy you need to clean the cage often and that is in my opinion the worst aspect of having rats uh, also they have quite short lifespans the average uh, lifespan of a rat is two and a half years so uh, with good cares and if your rat has good genes you can go to three years old and maybe in some exceptions four although that is very rare and uh, usually you will lose your rats after a couple of years and it's something that you have to be prepared for uh, what else what do they like to eat like us rats are omnivorous which is great because they can eat most of your leftovers. That is pretty nice. I like to share my meals with them. I usually make intentionally bigger portions so that I can give them a small amount of everything that I eat. And it builds a relationship between us. We, when we eat the same thing, it, it builds this, this family type of bond that is pretty good to give your rats the same thing as you eat. And uh, there are very few things that they cannot eat and uh, those things are uh, onions and uh, leek uh, unless it's a small quantity and they're very well cooked absolutely no raw onions they cannot digest them uh, there is one thing that is absolutely poisonous for rats and that is poppy seeds no poppy seeds for rats that can lead to an instant death even if they eat only one uh, if you give them fruits uh, beware of the pips, especially apple pips that contain a lot of cyanide. If you decide to give them fruits, which are pretty good for them, especially apples, berries are very good for them. Uh, cherries, they like cherries too. Uh, always remove the pips, although most rats will do it by themselves because they're pretty smart. Male rats have a certain hormone or enzyme in their body and because of it, they cannot have any citrus. No lemons, no oranges, no grapefruits, no, nothing that is of the citrus kind because it can give them cancer. And that includes uh, the distant cousin of the orange, the mango. When you give them meats or vegetables, they have to be well cooked and uh, not overcooked but you know uh, as you would give uh, for a child for example avoid giving them too much seeds uh, because they're high in calories and they can give in the long run rats diabetes is and as a general rule you want to avoid overfeeding your rats like always wait that their manger that their food bowel is empty before refilling it 
Uh, I've had a couple of rats that died of diabetes and uh, it was not very nice because also it, diabetes can give them brain tumors which are impossible to uh, operate so that is that is pretty garbage. When you when you buy them rat food I buy them Supreme Science Selective which is lab blocks which is uh, ideal for daily consumption it's based on cereal. Uh, rats in the wild eat mainly cereal like wheat, barley, oats, rye. Rice is good for them. Corn is good for them, but don't give them raw corn. The raw corn in itself is good for rats, but it often carries a microscopic fungus that is uh, harmless for us, but can be deadly for them. So if you give them corn, give them cooked corn. You know, I, I buy them that uh, cheap uh, supermarket cans of corn, perfect for rats. And, um, Avoid giving them beans or uh, potatoes because they have too much starches in, the, in them. You know, like if you're eating French fries and they see you and they're like, they have like this look of, please give me one, you can give them one, but avoid giving them uh, beans or, or potatoes on a daily basis as it can be uh, a bit heavy for them and not really great. Uh, their favorite food is usually uh, yogurt. All rats love yogurt. There's a misconception that is passed around that rats are actually lactose intolerant, but it's mice that are lactose intolerant. Rats digest lactose fine. They can have yogurt, cheese, etc. And uh, they love rotisserie chicken. They love ground beef. They love bacon. They love peanuts. Peanuts are one of the favorite food of all time. Uh, walnuts too. Most nuts. And um, and uh, leafy green vegetables uh, are, you know, very appreciated by them. Spinach, especially. Lettuce is fine too. And they also like uh, most berries, like strawberries, etc. And um, they uh, also love carrots. They love corn when it's cooked. They like tomatoes too. Uh, that's uh, if you want to give them treats that can be like a good basis. They also love chocolate. As for the hygiene, uh, rats are very clean. You will see them groom themselves about 30 times per day. So they need to have a clean cage. They need to have a clean environment. Don't use incense in their presence because their respiratory systems are very sensitive to everything and incense is probably the worst thing that you can do to them. Uh, they can give them pneumonia and, and na other nasty things. Uh, avoid smoking in front of them, of course, and no, uh, psh, you know, bone deodorants. Those are not good for rats. Avoid drafts. They should have the same temperature. Uh, all year round and basically if the temperature is comfortable for you it's comfortable for them they have an internal temperature of 37 degrees just like us so they perceive temperature about the same as us they are quite resistant to cold but they are very very sensitive to uh, brutal variations of temperature if, if you bring them suddenly to a really warm room to a really cold room they can uh, die of cold stroke and of course of heat stroke the other way around isn't their tail gross and its skin its uh, skin with bone inside because it's the prolongation of their spinal column so uh, you want to be careful with it as it's very fragile it's warm and soft and it's like you know a finger it's a long thing of flesh with bone inside and it's just like someone touching you with their fingers you know it's not scaly and it's certainly not cold or slimy or anything it's skin it feels like skin do rats bite is another question that I have often and it's the same question as when you make a new friend will they punch you in the face it's very unlikely but it might happen under certain circumstances there are the likeliness is very small. I've had 24 rats in total over the course of the past 10 years, and I've been bitten two times. So, you know, that's not all the rats that do it, and it's not often, and usually it's rats that are very sick. Uh, both rats that uh, bit me were uh, had terminal cancer. Rats, one thing that you might want to know before you get rats is that sometimes they do sleep with their eyes open. Uh, so don't uh, get a heart attack the first time you see a rat laying like this. 
they're probably just having a good nap. Be mindful of the fact that they might be sleeping with their eyes open uh, because you cannot, you should not grab them when they are sleeping. They hate being touched when they sleep. They hate being woken up like suddenly like this, just like us, of course. And uh, one technique that I've uh, developed over the course of the years is uh, when I approach the cage doing a few snaps or clapping my hands like this so I'm sure that everyone's awake so if I have to grab a rat and I have to do it now because they uh, have to have their medicine if they're sick or something like this uh, I'm sure that I won't startle any of them. Rats are smart and friendly they don't hold grudges and they won't you know uh, avoid you if one day you hurt them accidentally because you sat on your bed and you didn't see there was one under your pillow and you kind of squished it or uh, you know accidentally slapping one while moving your arms and playing with them it happens and usually they're fine with it but they hate being startled especially when they're sleeping and they might resent you if you do that so uh, be always sure that they're wide awake when you have to do anything with them and they're pretty easy to take care of on a daily basis uh, if no one gets sick you know if you just give them food and tap water for drinking and uh, just you know care basic care hygiene let them out an hour every day so they can run stretch their legs that's pretty important exercise is important for them just as for us and uh, you know too much sedentarity will have a negative impact on their health just as for you rat food even the best most expensive one cost almost nothing because rats are very small so they eat not much and uh, <laughs> And, and I buy the most expensive rat food of all and it costs me less than 10 bucks a month. So uh, yeah, if you're just like cleaning their cage, you don't need any special product. I use just hot water, paper towels and a little uh, white vinegar and that's it. And uh, it, you, you don't need to do anything. You don't need to do anything specific. They don't need dust baths like chinchillas or uh, you know, you know, uh, it's pretty, they're pretty easy to maintain. Except when one gets sick and you have to bring them to the vet, the vet bills can be a little expensive, but it's still less expensive than for a cat or a dog. So uh, that's good to know. And uh, I've never had to dish out like a thousand for a rat. Uh, the most expensive operation was like 300 and it's uh, the only operation that the rats needed for uh, his whole life and um, most rats won't get sick during their lifetime sometimes it seems like rats get sick all the time but it's just that they have a, a fast life they go from birth to death in usually two and a half years so you know even if they get sick once that's like you getting sick only once through your entire life and you'd need to have several rats because they cannot live alone. Last thing that I wanted to talk about, you need to get at least two. And in my opinion, it's better to have about four so they can have this little, a little family, a little tribe. And it's not very difficult to take care of them, even if you get four or five of them. It's the good amount, according to... Uh, my experience when you start having like nine ten it starts being a little difficult because you cannot uh, let them all out at the same time and you need to watch them like really intensely and, and it can be a little tiring it's not good for you it's not good for them but having four five six rats that's the perfect amount um, in my opinion and never 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 have only one rat it's really bad for their health mental as well as physical to be alone always have at least two and it's better to have yeah between four and six that is the ideal amount according to my experience and that is about all for everything that you would need to know about pet rats if you have any questions or remarks ask that in comments don't forget to smash that like button if you like the video and subscribe if it's not done already thanks to everyone for watching extra special thanks for my patrons on patreon and to everyone i wish on you peace good health and a thousand years of luck see ya